start please write the topic and raise law so first of all we are going to look at the statement of the law then the mathematical expression and then we will discuss a few things about the uh, terms that are involved in henry's law so please write the law partial pressure of a gas partial pressure of a gas in vapor phase is directly proportional to is directly proportional to the mole fraction of gas in solution so if i take partial pressure of uh, gas as p it will be directly proportional to the mole fraction of the gas in the solution if i remove the proportionality sign i will get a proportionality constant that will fall as k and this was given by Henry, so we call it Kh into Chi B. Okay. So what is Kh? Kh is Henry's constant. I will write a few things about the Henry's constant. Okay. So write the topic, subtopic rather, Henry's constant. constant h so first of all h is a function of gas that means for different gas the th value will be different okay so please write kh is a function of gas function of gas function of log mathematical aspect in samajhna hai function ko yahan pe function means Kh ke value change hogi, other gas change hoga to. Thikha na? To wo manko function. It's a function of gas, meaning different gas have different value of Kh. Different value of Kh. Thikha na? What does Kh tells about? So if you see the amount of kh is high this pressure will also be high what does that mean it means that if i increase the amount of kh then i am getting more amount of vapors in the vapor phase okay so it is telling you about the escape, escaping tendency kh tells about escaping tendency of gas. Okay. If the KH is higher, the escaping tendency will also be higher. Now, we can relate escaping tendency with solubility also because if something is, is escaping, if something is escaping very easily, then in that case, we can say that its solubility is low. It, it does not want to stay in the solution, rather it wants to escape out. So we can say that solubility, solubility, will be inversely proportional to kh if the value of kh is higher the solubility will be low okay next is the unit so we know that p is equal to kh into chi b so we can write this as kh will be equal to pressure divided by chi b the pressure it will have units such as pressure will have units such as ATM, bar, Pascal. Chi B is unitless. It does not have any unit. That's why we can say that unit of KH will also be 
unit of kh will also be same as that for pressure that is equal to it will be atm it can be in bar it can be in pascal it can be in mm of hg okay all of these things are different units of kh now another thing is that how kh depends on temperature so we have seen previously that if i am going to increase the temperature in a solution where we are having gases molecule if the temperature increases what happens to solubility the solubility decreases because gas will escape out easily and if it is escaping the solubility is decreasing we have seen that solubility and kh have inverse relationship so if solubility decreases the kh value will be higher okay therefore we can say kh it is directly proportional to temperature ठीक है तो प्लीज राइट दिस पॉइंट डाउन एंड मरियम सिंस यू हैव जॉइंट इट यू हैव टू राइट दिस एंड रीज लॉ आल्सो ठीक है प्लीज राइट दिस डाउन रीज योर हैंड वंस योर डन देन वी विल लुक एट अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस देन वी विल मूव ऑन टू द ग्राफ्स ऑफ हेनरी या एटल सो कैन यू एक्सप्लेन द हेनरीज लॉ इन शॉर्ट वंस अगेन हां नो प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज समथिंग दैट वी एंडेड अप इन द लास्ट क्लास वी सॉ दैट द whatever the pressure that you feel on the above surface of a uh, solution and the solution is containing gas and see here so this solution it contains liquid and there are some gas molecules we want the we want to see what are the molecules just above the solution so liquid or gas both of them they have a tendency to escape out like even if you have liquid then obviously it vaporizes but since we have dissolved gas here majority of the vapors that you are going to find majority of the gas particles that you are going to find above the solution will be of gas see so most of these are what gas molecules that is why the pressure here will be directly proportional to the amount of gas we have dissolved inside the solution if you have a dissolved more amount of gas there will be more amount of gases which are escaping out and there will be more amount of gas particles leading to higher pressure okay yeah. so it is directly proportional to kb and in order to remove the proportionality sign we just put a constant k and it is called in this constant kh That's the Henry Z. Make sense? Yes, sir. Thank you. No problem. Oh, here you just need to actually take up maybe what to be that's fine and writing as a rahega yeah hmm g yeah yeah koi chance hai thoda thoda theek hone ka koi chance hai and writing koshish koshish karta hu कोशिश जारी है ठीक है जी सर थोड़ा कोशिश दिखाई भी देना चाहिए है ना दिखे भी यस सर चलिए प्लीज रेज योर हैंड वन सेकंड मरियम नुहा हर्षा एंड यहिया यहिया तो हो गए जैना जैना यू विल रेज हैंड यहिया तो ठीक है फाइन मोस्ट ऑफ यू गाइस आर डन वेटिंग फॉर मरियम सर आई विल राइट लेटर आई टुक स्क्रीनशॉट यू कैन कंटिन्यू अच्छा मैं टुक स्क्रीनशॉट लेट मी सी सम क्वेश्चंस हियर Like this, gas A is more soluble in water than gas B. 
at the same temperature, which one of the two gases will have higher value of KH and Y. Okay, so please try this. I will give you guys two minutes. Moments are going to be over, guys. Asani is a malko. Gas A is more soluble than gas B. Which one of the two gases will have higher value of pH? And higher lower cup of good straight peak. I'm giving you complete two minutes. Because you can answer the well and good. Otherwise, you will see how to solve this. सवाल देख के आपको थोड़ा घबरा गया अदरवाइज इट इज इजी यू जस्ट नीड एन अप्रोच चलिए ठीक है देखते हैं एक सवाल आया है ओके नो हां वेरी गुड चलिए टाइम इज अप प्लीज सी सबसे पहले देखिए सॉल्यूबिलिटी सॉल्यूब सॉल्यूबिलिटी तो सॉल्यूबिलिटी के लिए क्या है A is more soluble. So A is more soluble than B. उसके बाद आप देखिए के एच ठीक है के एच के एच का और सॉलिबिलिटी का क्या रिलेशनशिप है इट इज इनवर्स ही प्रपोर्शन आपको बस साइन चेंज कर देना है बस आई होप दैट मेक सेंस सॉलिबिलिटी इज इनवर्स ही प्रपोर्शन टू के एच है ना तो इफ सॉलिबिलिटी ए का ज्यादा है तो के एच किससे ज्यादा होगा बी का ज्यादा होगा ठीक है तो ऑलवेज डो दिस डो ऑल ऑफ दिस मतलब इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर के भी सवाल को ना इसी तरह किया कीजिए वट एवर डेटा हैज बिन गिवन उस डेटा को आप इंक्रीजिंग या डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर में रख लीजिए देन देर विल बी डेटा दैट वुड हैव बीन आस्ड एक चीज आपसे पूछ रहे हैं लुक एट द रिलेशनशिप लुक एट द रिलेशनशिप आइदर इट विल बी डायरेक्ट और इट विल बी इनवर्स यू आर जस्ट सीन दैट इट इज फॉर इनवर्स सॉलिबिलिटी इज इनवर्स प्रोपोर्शन टू केएच इफ इट इज इनवर्स तो साइन चेंज करके यू राइट एवरीथिंग एज इट इज जैसे ए जहां पे था वहीं लिखिए बी जहां था वहीं लिखिए यू जस्ट चेंज द साइन If it is directly proportional, you keep everything as it is. ठीक है? So here we can say that B has higher value of KH because solubility is inversely proportional to KH. That's it. ठीक है? So that's how you have to answer. A very similar question, जिसमें उल्टा पूछा हुआ उन्होंने, they have given the value of KH. You have to assign the value for solubility. Can you please try this? जो केस की वैल्यू है उसको अरेंज कीजिए इंक्रीजिंग या डिक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर में उसके बाद सॉलिबिलिटी का इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप है तो यू विल कीप द ऑर्डर एज इट इज यू चेंज द साइन ठीक है ग्रेटर को लेस एंड लेस एंड लेस एंड कर दीजिएगा दैट्स इट
चलिए टू मोर मिनट्स इसमें आंसर आना चाहिए गाइस टेक टू मोर मिनट्स आप लोग सॉल्व कीजिए आंसर्स कमिंग बैक इन मॉर्निंग तो कुछ पूछा नहीं ना बीच में ठीक है ओके ये ठीक है हर्षा ठीक है आप लोगों ने आंसर दिया है वेटिंग फॉर अदर्स अप्रोक्सीमेटली थर्टी मोर सेकेंड्स सबसे ज्यादा आफ्टर फोर वी है So solubility will be the same. We have to keep the same order. Just you have to, I mean, change the sign. So argon, then CO two, then CH four, and most soluble will be HCHO. No, mm -hmm, you got this. So option number C. G, no hard to me. Yes, sir. Okay, inverse relation, sir. Pena. Okay. Sorry. Moving on. Let us see some more questions. Okay, this is calculator. Now, please see. This question is quite important. Okay, quite important here. They are asking calculate the solubility of CO two. In water at two ninety eight Kelvin under seventy six oh, sorry seven sixty mmHg, KH for CO two in water at two ninety eight is it now? Now what is solubility? Solubility tells you about the amount of solvent sorry amount of solute inside solvent or amount of solute in solution. So solubility can be any concentration term. Generally solubility का मतलब होता है generally solubility का मतलब होता है molarity but it is Usually, usually molarity होता है, but generally सब कुछ हो सकता है, ठीक है? Any concentration term. So here they are going to ask you about KH. Sorry, P is equal to. KH into KB, ठीक है? So what they are asking, they are asking this value, the mole fraction, because mole fraction is going to tell you about the amount of solute inside solvent, ठीक है? तो यहाँ पे आपको क्या करना है? You just need to change this. KB will be equal to Pressure divided by pH. Note this. I mean, Kate Henry's law was also there in the question, but I just removed it because 
अभी क्या ही आप स्टेट कीजिएगा जस्ट रिटर्न देता हूँ ठीक है ठीक है ना गाइस यू नीड टू सॉल्व ऐसे बैठ करने से नहीं होगा ठीक है ठीक है वेरी गुड हर्षा आई मीन यू कैन अप्रोक्सीमेट थिंग्स यहां पे ठीक है मैं ज्यादा आपको ये नहीं करनी जरूरत है देखिए सी है आई कैन राइट दिस एज़ काई बी इज इक्वल टू The pressure is seven sixty divided by this is one point two five into ten to the power six. So I can write this as seven sixty upon one twenty five into this ten to the power six. So it will be ten to the power four. Now one twenty five approximately. You six years. Multiply it because. If you are going to multiply it by seven, then it will be greater than eight hundred or seven hundred. So up or down, it will be much more. Multiply by six, you will get how much? Six times thirty, and six twos are twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and seven fifty. Right? So getting this value is seven fifty. Approximately, you can speed it. This will be six uh, into ten to the power minus four. That is the mole fraction, or that is the solubility of CO two. In water, बस हो गया. ठीक है. The actual answer that we are going to get is six point zero eight. तो approximate six point zero eight कहाँ ही होगा? मतलब six ही का बराबर है. Very much like. ठीक है. So this type of approximation ही आप करते रहिए. In the complete physical chemistry, जो पढ़ेंगे twelfth class में, तो उसने complete आप पूरी आंसर दिए. You can do approximations. ठीक है. Approximations करके फिर आप real answer calculator से check कर लीजिए. देखिए कितना ज़्यादा difference आ रहा है. And then you have to work on your approximations. अब आपका जो मल्टीप्लीकेशन का स्पीड है डिवीजन का स्पीड है वो तो बढ़ नहीं सकता है राइट आई होप अब वो नहीं बढ़ेगा लेकिन एक साल में कितना ही बढ़ा लीजिएगा आप अपने स्पीड को योर स्पीड विल ओनली इंक्रीज एंड इट विल इंक्रीज एक्सपोनेंशियली जब आप अप्रोक्सीमेशन सीखेंगे ठीक है सो यू स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन योर अप्रोक्सीमेशन और इस साल जो फिजिकल फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री है इवन इन फिजिक्स टू ट्राई टू डू अप्रोक्सीमेशन और फिर उसके बाद रियल आंसर देखिए कि कितना का डिफरेंस हो रहा है एंड हाउ यू हैव टू इम्प्रूव ऑन दी अप्रोक्सीमेशन अप्रोक्सीमेशन का ऐसा कुछ खास रूल नहीं है इट डिपेंड्स ऑन ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन ईच एंड एवरी सिचुएशन ठीक है वहां पे आपको देखना पड़ेगा एंड स्लोली यू हैव टू इवॉल्व नाउ मूविंग ऑन और सवाल देखेंगे बट उससे पहले हम लोग देखते हैं ग्राफ फॉर हेनरीज लॉ ठीक है 
ठीक है प्लीज राइट ग्राफ फॉर एंट्रीज लॉ नो अप्रोक्सीमेशन से ना एक आपको और फायदा ये होगा ना कि अब ये तो आप लोगों को डिवाइड करने का मन नहीं कर रहा होगा 125 से 760 कैसे ही डिवाइड करें बट इफ यू आर डूइंग अप्रोक्सीमेशन रेगुलरली देन यू विल गेट एन आइडिया थोड़ा हिंट मिल जाएगा आपको कि अच्छा सौ हंड्रेड है अगर सेवन टाइम्स करेंगे तो इट विल बी अप्रोक्सीमेटली सेवन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव को सेवन टाइम्स करेंगे तो सिक्सटी से बहुत ज्यादा चला जाएगा सो आई विल फर्स्ट ऑफ मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई लोअर नंबर सिक्स से मल्टीप्लाई करके देखते हैं कितना होगा ठीक है वो जब तक एक्टिवेटेड नहीं रहेगा आपके दिमाग में देर इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट टू इवन अप्रोच न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम लाइक दीज ठीक है प्लीज इसका थोड़ा ध्यान रखें सो ग्राफ फॉर हेनरीज लॉ वेन एवर वी हैव अ ग्राफ दैट ग्राफ शुड रिलेट टू अ पर्टिकुलर इक्वेशन जो हमारे पास इक्वेशन है हेनरीज लॉ का क्या है दिस इज पी इज इक्वल टू के एच इन टू काई बी ऑब्वियसली द के एच इज हियर इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज वाई अवर ग्राफ विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स टाइप ऑफ ग्राफ बनेगा in which our m the slope will be a positive slope because uh the slope will be positive because kh cannot be negative for any gas hai na kh ki value hamesha kya rahegi positive hi rahegi that is you will get something like this theek hai now in the y axis we will have the p or x axis mein aapke paas chi b hoga so here you are having the pressure here you are having the chi b so as chi b is increasing the pressure is also increasing here the only thing that you need to know that m or we call it slope jo bhi bolna slope it is equal to kh now there can be an another graph that is aap is equation ko aise likh sakte hain p is equal to kh into 1 minus chi a because chi b plus chi a is equal to 1 to 1 minus chi a is equal to chi b ab yahan pe please dekhiye isko aise likh sakte p is equal to kh से मल्टीप्लाई किया माइनस के एच इन टू काई नाउ इन दिस केस वी हैव अ ग्राफ व्हिच इज वाई इट इज इक्वल टू दिस इज गोइंग टू बी माय एक्स सो दिस इज एक्स दिस माइनस के एच इज गोइंग टू बी माय एम एंड के एच इज ओनली गोइंग टू बी माय सी ठीक है तो वाई एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू एम एक्स प्लस सी टाइप ऑफ ग्राफ आपके लिए बनेगा एंड इन दिस ग्राफ द स्लोप इज गोइंग टू बी नेगेटिव बिकॉज यू कैन सी एम इज इक्वल टू माइनस के हियर वी आर हैविंग प्रेशर एंड आई एंड बी समथिंग लाइक दिस As the solvent particles increases, the pressure is going to decrease. ठीक है? This value here, this is also equal to K H, and the slope for this value, this will be also equal to. Rather, the slope will be equal to minus K H. चलिए, copy this down. Please your hand once you're done. Waiting for Yahya and Zaina. Okay. 
just waiting for Yahya now. Okay, just let me know if you're done. Done, sir. Done. Take means of all coming up. एक मेन सा सवाल कीजिए उसके बाद वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट एनसीईआरटी क्वेश्चन ठीक है मेन सा सवाल देख के डर मत जाइए बस आराम से कीजिए लुक एट द एक्स एक्सिस लुक एट द वाई एक्सिस Sir, what what are the options? What are the options? Options are the options. Options are the options. Can you take one more minute? Okay, Zaina. Okay, Harsha. Twenty more seconds. So it is saying uh, for solution of gases A, B, C, D in water at 298 Kelvin, the values of Henry's law constant KH, these are the values given for Henry's law constant. 30.40, 2.34, 1.56, into 10 power minus 5, 0.513 respectively. In the given graph, the lines marked as P and S corresponds respectively to. Now, as you can see, what is happening? Subse zada, like the if I talk about the pressure, then pressure maximum kiss me. P me maximum, hai, then it is for Q, then it is in the case of R, then it is in the case of S. Okay, that is the maximum. Like you have to choose at least one value for choosing one particular value of x axis up a line. Bana di ke, hai? Whenever you have multiple lines na, in a graph, you need to make something constant. Okay, now, P ko aise niche niche bhi ja raha hai aur Q ko bhi compare kar rahe hai. Like you are 
getting the value of you're taking the value of p from here or rather you're taking the value of p from here and you're getting taking the value of q from here to ab aise agar compare karenge then obviously p is lower than q so you have to take something constant what is should be constant the mole fraction to so, ab mole fraction constant kaise karenge ek aisa line bana dijiye so now you are looking at the mole fraction where it is my bad and it is here from here you can see that p is having maximum then it is q then it is r then it is s now they are asking uh see p is more what does that mean since the mole fraction is constant p is equal to what ph into kai b ab kai b to constant kar diya na humne because the mole fraction of water is constant mole fraction of water maan lijiye aapne 0.2 yahan pe liya hua hai to kai b kitna ho jayega sare cases mein p q r sare cases mein kya aa jayega 0.8 ho jayega theek hai ka a plus kai b is equal to 1 so whatever difference is coming in terms of pressure will be only because of kh theek hai that is why i am saying that if p is having this particular order kh will also be having this particular order p q r then s then they are saying p and s it will correspond to the p sabse zyada maximum hoga maximum kitna hai yahan pe 330.40 that corresponds to what a value and s is the least here so least is what 1.56 One point five six into ten to the power minus five. That corresponds to the C gas. So A and C are the correct option. ठीक है. I hope not very tough. ठीक है. Even conceptually, समझने के आते बार से भी बहुत ज़्यादा tough नहीं है. और solve करने के भी आते बार से बहुत ज़्यादा tough नहीं है. Okay. Please copy this down. This was the important part. Something is given, and then you have to see the relationship with whatever is given, and then apply it. बस यही करना रहता है. Increasing, decreasing. Okay. चलिए. After this, we will solve. Another question. This question is in NCERT. Is there any way to learn something? Okay. 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 If N2 gas is bubbled through water at 290 degree Kelvin, how many millimoles of N2? Millimoles का मतलब क्या होता है? Millimoles is just like millimeter. Millimeter जैसे होता है ना 10 to the power minus 3 liters. Millimoles means 10 to the power minus 3 moles. That's it. Milli is just a number. Of N2 gas would dissolve in one liter of water. Assume that N2 exerts a partial pressure of इतना bar. Given Henry's law constant for N2 at 290 degree Kelvin is इतना. So they are basically asking what? How many millimoles of N2? That means they are asking you about P is equal to K H into K B, and they want you to find out the K B, and from K B, you know that K B is equal to what number of moles of the solute divided by number of moles of solvent plus number of moles of solute, right? That is why what is going to happen now? You need to calculate this number of moles. ठीक है तो पहले K B निकालिए उसके बाद फिर हम आप K B तक निकालिए then I will help you. You have the pH value. You have the pressure. Everything is there. You just need to calculate the K B. P is equal to K H into K B.
just uh, make sure that you can see uh, given that Henry's law constant for N2 at 293 Kelvin is 76.48 kilobar. Okay, so you make sure that you are writing 1000 into that number because the value of pressure is in just bars. You have to keep the value of pH also in just bars. Okay. Oh my God, guys, take one more minute. I just want you to calculate the Kai B. Answer the idea. Answer the idea. Answer the Answer the idea. That's Kaidi, right? Zaina and Harsha. Okay, very good. Fine. Both of your values are very valid. Okay, for us, I could calculate a mistake, but uh, let us see here. So, Kaidi will be equal to P upon KH. So, P it is equal to 0 0.987 divided by 76.48 into 1000. Right? Yes or no? So, yeah. This is the value that we are having. Now, yes, sir. approximately speaking, if I'm going to decrease a few amount in the numerator, numerator will increase, the denominator will increase. Karna so, yeah. This value is coming out to be 0 0.0129. You can divide by 1000. So this will be equal to 1.29 into 10 to the power minus 1, 2, and 3 minus 5. So this will be the mole fraction. Up now comes the main part. This was division, although it was a bit calculator, but still, this is not something that you don't know. You can divide these numbers. It may take some courage and some time, but you may divide this. So you will get the value as 0 0.12. Uh, 1.29 into 10 bar minus 5. So what is chi B? Chi B is number of moles of solute divided by number of moles of solvent plus number of moles of solute. This will be equal to 1.29 into 10 to the power minus 5. Okay, 1.29 into 10 to the power minus 5. Now, the main part of this value is small or it is very large. It is very small or very large. Tell me, guys. 
It's very small or very, very large? Very small. Very small, sir. Very small. Very small. Very small. Very, good, very small. Now, this can be, it, it will be very small only if this denominator here is very large and this numerator is very small. Does that make sense? It's only possible if the numerator is very large in comparison to the the sorry, the denominator is very large in comparison to the numerator. Does this make sense? Yes, sir. See? Okay. Now that means I can say the value of NB, it will be very, very small than NB. And if NB is very small, I can ignore it from the denominator. And what I will get? NB upon NA. So this is the important thing that you have to note that if the value here, it is very small, you can ignore the uh, number of moles of sol uh, solute part. You cannot remove it from the numerator because numerator may stay sad compare karne ke liye kuch hai nahi. Here we are removing in the denominator only because we can compare it by NA. Like if you see one rupee on an itself, it is very important. It has some value. But if I compare this one rupees with one billion, 10 to the power six, let us suppose, then it doesn't even matter that one rupees. If you are going to add one rupee into one billion, it's not going to matter. But a person who is only having one rupees, that one rupee, it matters to that person. That is why similarly, you can assume here in numerator, you don't have anything. That's why whatever be the small amount of MB that matters, but in denominator, we can ignore the MB part and you will get this as 1.29 into 10 to the power minus. Now, what is the amount of uh, solvent we are having? So they are saying one liter of water. So one liter of water means, now one more thing that you should understand, should know here is density of water, it is equal to one grams per ml. This is something that you should remember. Like you remember the boiling point of water, like you remember the freezing point of water, you should remember the density of water is equal to one gram per ml. And if one gram per ml, that means the mass of one liter will be equal to one kg. Okay, we are taking one liter of water, that means thousand ml. 1000 ml means 1000 grams, 1000 grams means 1 kg. So we can calculate the number of moles as 1000 divided by the mass of water mass of water is 18. So this will come out to be 55.55. And this is also something that you should remember. One liter of water has 55.55 moles of water. 55.55 moles. Now if I calculate this value, NB will be equal to NA. It will be 1.29 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 5 multiplied by 55.55. So when you calculate this, you will get the answer regarding the number of moles of So if I multiply this 1.29 into 55.55, this will be equal to 71.65 into 10 to the power minus 5. So they are asking about millimoles. So I will convert this into 10 to the power minus 3. This will be equal to 0 0.71 into 72 curling approximately 76 10 to the power minus 3. This many millimoles of N2 will be there. Okay. Answer will be 0 0.72 millimoles. This one is down. Raise your hand once you're done.
just waiting for Yahya now. Yahya, please let me know if you're done. Done, sir. Right next, a bit of uh, applications of NDS law. Okay, since I'm a bit short in time right now, I will explain the applications. You don't write anything. You can write all the application from your NCERT textbook. That is uh, on the page number 42 and 43. Okay, it's on page number 42 and 43. And 43, you can write all these points, but I will explain it for you guys. Now, you have to just be answering my few questions. First application is very easy. It uh, relates to soda water. Okay. It relates to soda water and cold drinks. Please don't write anything. You just need to listen. A soda water and cold drink, it needs to have CO2 and the solid to increase the solubility of CO2 inside water. We add CO2 in high pressure. That is why whenever you are going to open a Coke bottle or any soft drink or cold drink bottle, then you will see that there is gases escaping out. So that, just give me a second, my voice must be cracking right now. Bottles are packed. Yeah. Ability to in Sir, your your voice is breaking. So I think it got disconnected. Yeah. So my screen would be visible now. Mm. It's loading. It's still loading. So I was saying that. When we are bottling CO2, we, are, we bottle it at high pressure to increase the solubility. Anyways, 